Alright, so in this video, I'm going to be showing a problem with the current builds of CMU. Uh, it was a good intention, but it turns out this feature works very poorly in execution. That the VRAM will be periodically cleaned up when assets are not currently being rendered. As you can see, we have stabilized around 3,078 megabytes of VRAM. Uh, some of that's obviously from OBS being recording, but most of that is from Simium. As I turn the camera here, we might load in some new assets and see it climb up a little bit with some heavy stutters. That's visible on the frame time graph right here. Ideally, this graph would be completely flat. There would be no spikes or dips. And that would be indicative of a very smooth frame rate. Unfortunately, as you'll see, as we move around, open menus, and do other things that access new texture data, models, shaders, etc. There's going to be some pretty bad spikes in that, on that graph. Running around within the same area is pretty good. Mostly at that 33.3 millisecond frame time. But anytime something's new, you're going to see it stutter pretty bad. A good way to test this is opening the menu. You get a nice pause of 400 milliseconds. That's pretty bad. More than a third of a second. But as we open this menu, you'll see that my VRAM is dropping significantly. We've gone down over 600 megabytes. That's because when we pause the game, the background, the 3D background, is not rendering. It's paused. Now when we go back out of this menu, all that VRAM that was just cleaned up is going to have to be loaded back in again. And it results in a massive stutter. A 1,800 millisecond stutter. That's horrible. And that happens constantly. Because the VRAM, as you saw, it spiked. And now it's cleaning up again. Same thing with this weapon selection menu. If we hold it open long enough, the VRAM will get cleaned up. You'll see the number dropping. Okay, and we open, let go of it again. Massive stuff. This wasn't happening in earlier builds of CMU because the VRAM never got cleaned up. It would just keep building up as you access new data. Which, for people with lower VRAM graphics cards, was a problem. It would lead to a performance leak over time. But, I think, personally, it resulted in a better experience. Because this is really not playable. With these horrible stutters. And it is 100% tied to that VRAM. Wow, that's so bad. So ideally what would have to happen is we'd have to see some type of configuration over that VRAM cleanup. Either completely disabling it for people with graphics cards that have large VRAM pools, or uh, modifying the timer on it so it waits a little bit longer. Because as it currently stands, you can't even go into a menu without all this data being cleaned out and then generating a horrible stutter by the time you get back to the game. And it just shouldn't be that way. It doesn't need to be that way. So hopefully XApp in a future build can give us more control of this feature. So we can get a little bit better performance out of the game. Which is a shame because right now this is probably the best state the emulator's been in. In all other regards. But that VRAM cleanup, oof. It's gotta go. Something has to happen with it.